Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are in the midst of our Black History Presents series and we are getting close to the end of the month that is slowly, slowly winding down. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I am going to share a little bit about um, Aunt Jackie's brand with you and then I'm going to show you what I have in my stash from the brand. So if you are interested in seeing that, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, uh, Aunt Jackie's was founded by Dwan White. Her name is spelled D-W-A-N. Last name is White. And she started Aunt Jackie's years, years ago. They have been around a whole lot. She started her career 17 years ago in the multicultural hair um, industry and she noticed when people start going back to their natural hair that the big brand hair companies thought that it was just a trend and they did not pay a whole lot of attention initially to the natural hair market and Dwan had the insight to know that this wasn't just a trend that this was a revolution and that we were going to need products that catered to our hair so uh, she already had had experience she had already had her signature on over 200 products. She had formulated some um, products under the brand Africa's Best, if you've heard of them. Some of those formulations and products are from her. And so she decided to start on Jackie's and just kind of take off and do her own brand. And no, she does not have an Aunt Jackie. She said that she just wanted to name the brand. She wanted the brand to have some personality, you know, something that just kind of spoke to us in a way that we understood, you know, it was going to be natural. It was going to be uh, helpful. There was going to be products for every situation. It was going to be very fun loving and uh, bright and so she said everybody has an Aunt Jackie. We all have that feisty personality type person in our family and so she took the Aunt Jackie's name and just ran with it. Right now Aunt Jackie's has over six collections and you guys keep your ears to the ground because I hear that there is another one coming out very very soon. Uh, there are a wide selection of products. You have everything from shampoos, you got conditioners, leave-in conditioners, you got deep conditioners, there's protein conditioners, there's gels, there's uh, custard, everything you need for a healthy hair regimen you can find in this brand as well. There are some of the products have been well researched because she wanted the right ingredients to fit in the um, reputation of the brand and also to find some healthy things that just wasn't um, very popular at the time and so she's sort of gone to lending her voice ahead to try to get ahead of some of the trends that were coming out. Um, as of 20 in 2018, did you know that Aunt Jackie's was voted the fastest growing natural hair brand there was? The year of 2018. They just became what was already pretty known worldwide they became completely renowned by 2018 everybody had heard of Aunt Jackie's it is a terrific brand and a lot of us caught on to Aunt Jackie's when they had that elongating flaxseed gel that was so very popular and since then they've just grown the company has really just exploded and they have continued to hire from the community. They have researchers and chemists and people that have really been able to be an asset to the brand. And so we are ever so grateful for um, Aunt Jackie's, for the brand and for the resources and for the knowledge she's continuing to pour into herself so that she can continue to make the brand better and better and give us more amazing products. I, as usual, only have a few uh, products from the brand in my stash, but they are some that I love very, very much, and I want to share those with you. And the items that I have are from the Oh So Clean, um, I'm from the Oh So Clean. The ones that I have are from the original brand, and it is the Oh So Clean Moisturizing and Softening Shampoo. If you are looking for a shampoo that does not strip, that does some detangling, that instantly gives your hair moisture and softness, this is a very good one. It 
does not contain parabens, no mineral oil, no petroleum, or any sulfates. And it is enriched with shea butter and olive oil, two of the most moisturizing ingredients on the market, and particularly in some hair product brands. It says um, to obviously wet the hair and work generously in and work it to a lather and to rinse the lather from the hair until all traces of the shampoo is left. It is very lather rich and it has natural conditioners and moisturizers inside that also not only soften hair but reduce shrinkage, control frizz, eliminate knotting, and restore healthy moisture balance. So this is a shampoo that can be used by all curl types you don't have to have a, a certain amount of density or a certain porosity or a, you know, finer curl types can use it as well as coarser types. I'm trying to show it to you guys. This is the second one of these that I've had. Oh, this one is no wonder I can't open it. It is literally brand new. Still has the seal on it. And I don't want to take that off. I really want to leave that on there for freshness sake but you can kind of see the consistency of this as it is it is very it has this pearly yellow orgy look it looks like it is very smooth and if you're looking at that and thinking it just looks that pearlesque color that looks so pretty and you can kind of see some of the oils forming in there it is as good as it looks it comes in a nice big 12 ounces. That is a nice amount of shampoo. And you know us in shampoo, 12 ounces will last you forever. But this is very, very good. They call it a detangling hair bath for chronically dry hair. And I think that speaks to most of us, especially this time of the year. So if you have not checked out this shampoo and you are looking for a new or just an alternative moisturizing detangling shampoo get your hands on this and i have the coco repair coconut cream deep conditioner i was so disappointed the other day i was just listening to a condition i mean a review of this and you know somebody said they didn't like it but you know it's everything works different for different people i love this it does have some uh protein in it it has um, it features coconut oil and avocado oil this is a 15 ounce container i find it very softening i find it very moisturizing it is a very good deep conditioner it says uh, repair beyond compare that this conditioning treatment blends avocado with coconut mango and flaxseed to help repair damage stop breakage soften shine and hydrate dry brittle hair um, I love that it comes in this huge container. Some of the ingredients, if I can see you guys, is water, cedar alcohol, glycerin, coconut oil, and glycerol stearate. Uh, a little further down, I do see uh, olive oil, shea butter, mango butter, argan oil, and again, this has hydrolyzed keratin in it and another hydrolyzed protein that I can't see because of the label but this is one of those that says you can use as a rinse out conditioner and also for a deep conditioner I've never used it as a rinse out I've always used it as a deep conditioner and I use it when I want a little bit of protein in my hair for the week I got this huge container from Burlington for $4.99 Um, I found that I, when I've used it before, it was very good. And when I go back and I see it again, then I have to get it. This is a lot of product for $5. It smells nice and subtle and fresh. And this is, let's get you a good picture of what the conditioner looks like. So it's thick, but it's kind of jiggly. See, this will fall off. Let me get a little bit so I can it's very creamy it feels very very good I would think it would be too thick as a rinse out conditioner but it definitely has the the moisture and the smoothness that I believe it it would detangle and 
uh, work that way. So if you have this or have heard somebody say that they don't like it as a deep conditioner, you can always use it as a um, rinse out. And you know, if you have some that you have, like I do, one that is getting old and you need to go ahead and use it, use it as a rinse out is another way that you can use it. You can also, because I can feel that slip in it, I bet you could also pre-poo with this. If you didn't want to have all of that protein in your hair for that long, you could probably um, pre-poo with this. I think so. It is very good. But there is, you have to check out their website. There are so many different collections at this point, And there are products under every collection that people have raved about. I know their latest uh, grapeseed one was very, very popular. I never did. I get that I was looking for it on the ground somewhere and I didn't want to have to go and um, buy it online but it will be one that I remember because we are uh, honoring our black black owned brands this month and Aunt Jackie's is our today's feature you guys tell me your experience about Aunt Jackie do you have any of their products do you have any favorites or do you have any opinion about the brand as a whole? I would love to know what you think down below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to this channel. I am doing this and presenting a new brand every single day and sharing with you what I have in my stash from the brand. We want to, especially this month, but all year long, remember our black owned brands that are catering to our needs. They are catering to our hair and so many of the bigger you know, big box brands can put um, products on the shelf and they can market them toward us, but they don't have that special touch that these black owned ones have. They um, are doing it with cheap, cheap fillers and the cheaper ingredients that do the same thing, but may not be the healthiest for your hair. So remember that when you're doing your research and you're out looking at brands, but Go to uh, AuntJackie's.com and sign up for their emails. Be sure to follow them on Instagram and stay caught up with the uh, new improvements and all the new um, sections that are coming out so that we can stay in the know. Thank you so much for listening and for your attention, you guys. Be sure that you stay tuned so that you can see tomorrow's feature. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye-bye.